things. Right. Said, I've cursed them already because you won't lay it to heart. tell you something. If you want to help them that you live this life, Amen. let them see you live this life. Amen. But you know what's going to happen? When you're going and you're fellowshipping and when you're mingling with them, right. 
you know what's going to happen? Sooner or later, you know what? Listen. You know exactly what's going to happen? It's Satan. Satan's going to come and Don't you make the mention of their names of their gods. Praise the Lord. Now, let me tell you something. Back then, there was no such thing as a Pentecost. There was no such thing as a Baptist, a Methodist, any of these others. Back then, their gods was Dagon, Baal, Baal, all those false gods that they had. There was no such thing that, uh, back then. And he said, you destroy their names. Today, God wants us to get every one of these names that they have put on churches out of our mind. Yeah. Destroy them. Don't you, don't you make mention of the name of their God, nor cause to swear by them, neither serve them nor bow yourself unto them. Hey, did you know something? When I go to a, a funeral, when I go to a funeral, and there's a false prophet up there preaching or uh, doing the funeral, and he said, let's pray. Don't bow my head. I'm not going to bow my head to another God. That's right. I keep my head up and just go straight ahead. Praise the Lord. Praise I'm going to tell you this, Brother Smith. For the man that was had crippling arthritis, he couldn't even hardly comb his hair. And he said, if I knew that one of them false prophets could heal me, he said, I would not let them. Because he said, I don't want that devil on me. Being honest, we can't play with the devil. Praise the Lord. But cleave unto the Lord your God as you have unto this day. For the Lord hath driven out from before you great nations and strong. But as for you, no man hath been able to stand before you unto this day. Let me tell you that if you stand on the name of Jesus Christ and holiness and the church of Jesus Christ and righteousness, 